Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys how I made the pose on the screen here along with some other poses. Um, so yeah, if you would like to show me what you make, definitely send them to me on Twitter because I would love to see them. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you guys a tutorial on how to create poses for The Sims 4. Um, if you've been playing The Sims 4 for a while then you would know that the poses for The Sims 4, they replace traits and they can also replace actions outside of um, create a sim. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create traits. Um, trait poses. And it is fairly simple. Um, I actually learned how to do it fairly quickly. I started doing it in January and then I stopped for a very long time and then now I'm back with the tutorial. I didn't see anyone else do a tutorial on this so I thought you know maybe I would do it. So yeah here we are with it. Um, you will need a few things for this. One of them is The Sims 4 and the next one is Blender and also The Sims 4 Studio. I'm going to show you how to download all of them so don't worry. But before we get started I do want to say that this tutorial was inspired by Orange Mittens from The Sims 4 Studio. I believe that they are an administrator on the website and I'm going to be following along with their tutorial. They made it so simple and I will also have it linked below but I just wanted to put it in video form but I do want to thank them because I would not be able to make poses without their tutorial and here it is right here. So yeah, now I'm going to show you what you need to download. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have The Sims 4 Studio. Um, I will link that down in the, de in the description and it is version 2.1.4. Point nine. Um, you can obviously download the later version. If you're watching this in the future, there will probably be um, a newer version out. So you can go ahead and download that one. So go ahead and register and make sure that you confirm your email. And then you're going to come back to this page and you're going to click here where it says installer. You can also do the zip version, but it's a little bit more complicated. So I would definitely go for the installer version. So um, I would definitely just go ahead and download and install that. And then after you have done that, you can go over here to where um, blender.org is. And and Blender.org is basically the software that we're going to be using to manipulate the sims to make them pose. Um, but we're not going to be using the latest version. So we're going to go here and click where it says older versions. And we're going to go here to where it says download.blender.org. And we're going to download version 2.70 because that's the one that we need for this. So I'm going to scroll down here to where it says Blender 2.70 and I'm going to click that. And there's all these little complicated things here. Don't even worry about them. Um, the ones that say A, you can just ignore those. If you're on a Windows system, you can download the Windows 32-bit EXE version. If you have a 64-bit system, then you can download the EXE version for 64-bit systems. But um, if you don't know which one you have, you can just download the 32-bit version and it should work just fine. But don't download the 64 one if you don't have a 64-bit system. Um, but yeah, so yeah, these are all the ones that you can download. Obviously, you can also go for the zip file, but that's, like I said, it's a little bit more complicated and you will need a little bit more... I mean, you will need another software to open it. So yeah, I would just go for this application one. So now, since you have successfully downloaded and installed Blender and also The Sims 4 Studio, we're gonna go here to where it says The Sims 4 Studio and we're gonna open that up. Actually, you already have it open. Um, and we're gonna go here. So we're gonna click here to where it says the main menu and make sure you have your creator name in. Mine is Simulexis for obvious reasons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that it says Simulexis. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click here where it says animation and it should say override as well. And obviously, as you can see here, there are a lot of things here. And if it's your first time opening up this, um, if it's your first time opening up the um, animation thing, it's gonna take quite a while for the um, Sims 4 Studio to retrieve them. So after that it has, um, after that is done, we're gonna go here to where it says back, and we're gonna go here and, and we're gonna type in the word trait, and we're just gonna look for a trait that we think that would be appropriate for our um, animation, our pose, and there are all these options you can choose. You can choose gloomy, goofball, you can choose hot headed, you can choose um, loner, lazy, insane, basically anything you want. Loves outdoors, materialistic. Um, I would not choose the geek one because there is a rocket ship over that one and that will obstruct the view of your pose. So I would not suggest that one. And there's also there's another one I would not choose. I think it's um, I think it's family oriented. I would also not choose that one as well. But yeah, so you can choose really any one you want. There's also squeamish, but you do need the outdoor retreat one to use that one. So if you're planning on sharing this with other people, I would not use squeamish because some people don't have outdoor retreat. And if it's as simple as choosing another trait, why not? You know, why not do that? So yeah, um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and choose slob for this one and I'm gonna click on slob it sounds so funny now that I say it but yeah I'm gonna click slob then I'm gonna click next and it's gonna show you um, it's gonna basically prompt you to save your package file and the package file is the actual mod that goes inside of your mods folder inside of your sims 4 mods folder so um, you may want to make sure that this name is appropriate just in case you want to share it so I'm gonna go ahead and name mine simulexis with an s Simulexis underscore um, pose because I don't really know what name I want to name it now so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna another underscore and then I'm gonna put um, the trait that it replaces it is always a good idea to have the trait that it replaces and right here make sure that you have that that is so important because just in case you forget or something like that you it's gonna be really hard to find and it's just as simple as putting the trait that it replaces right there so I'm gonna go ahead and put slob and this is a package file so this is the one that will go in your mods folder like I said before we're gonna go ahead and save this and then now it should lead you to this page and there's all these options here there's import we're gonna use that one last there's export if you click export it will export the exact slob trait animation inside from the base game into blender but we don't want that we want to create a new one we want to replace that so we're going to go ahead and click here where it says create new and we're going to follow the same formula that we were using before and we're going to do underscore simulexis simulexis underscore pose and then underscore slob and then underscore blender um i have windows 8 so it doesn't say dot blend at the end for some reason so as you can see here it is actually a blender file it's not a package file anymore but I put blender at the end because Windows 8 just hides the file extensions um, I don't know if it's just me or what but it does hide those and I do need to be able to differentiate those two so I'm gonna put underscore blender at the end and then, then I'm gonna press save and that's gonna export the animation Okay, so after your animation has exported, you should have a little folder here where it was saved into. You want to go ahead and find that one. So now I'm going to go here to where it says Blender. And it's the one that I just saved before. It says Simulexis underscore Pose underscore Slob underscore Blender. I'm going to go ahead and click and open that one. And then after that has opened up, there's going to be like a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff here. So we're just going to look around and, you know, see what we need to do. Um, for the first thing that I would obviously do, I would go here to where it says file and then we're going to press save. And now it's just going to save this, this blank pose right here. Um, and also another thing that I would suggest is we're going to click here with our left click button on our mouse and we're just going to drag this over because we don't really need to see that stuff over there. It's not really important that we know that stuff. Um, so yeah, over here is the only thing we're going to be clicking on out of all this stuff here. We're just going to be clicking on rig and um make sure that you can see all this here this is how you can control everything individually but we're just going to control the whole body at once um it's a little bit more simple so i choose to do it that way and also um if you would like to move the sim around um you can hold your mouse wheel and you can move it around with your mouse wheel just move the mouse around and that'll give you a better view of everything um, if you're viewing it from this way then you can move your move the arm from left to right this way and you can also move it on the X Y or Z axis um, like that so yeah um, so now since we want to actually get started in moving our sim around I'm gonna go ahead and right click on any joint see these black dots here there's this black dot there's this one obviously the black dot um, on that part of the body will correspond to whatever body part we're going to be moving or whatever joint we're going to be moving um, we don't want it to look weird so we just want to make sure that you know it's it's an actual pose and and that it you know it kind of looks humanly um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click on her elbow in her elbow right here I'm gonna right click that then I'm gonna click the R key on the keyboard and this R key will allow you to rotate this body part right here as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and move that with my mouse and then after I have confirmed the spot that I want it to be in I'm gonna left click and that's gonna confirm the spot right there so there you go and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other elbow I'm gonna right click on her elbow and then it's gonna select it, it should turn blue. Then I'm gonna press R on the keyboard and that's gonna rotate it again whatever way you really want it to be. And that's gonna make it look like that. And now um, I'm gonna use the mouse key, um, the mouse wheel to show you that her body is intersecting with everything else and we don't really want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to her side view and I'm click the R button. I mean, I'm gonna right click on this blue 
on the black elbow right here again. I'm gonna move that around so just so that it does not go through her body because that's kind of weird. But it's still going through, so I'm gonna go ahead and find her elbow, do the same thing, right click on her elbow, on her shoulder. Right click on her shoulder and move that around just a little bit more so that I can see that. And as you can see here, we do have a pretty simple pose right here, but I'm, I wanna make it look a little bit better. And also, this is another tip. If you would like these black dots to go away temporarily, you can just click the eyeball and you can see how it would look inside of the game. It's very simple. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click the eyeball again so that we can see the points. Um, again, so now I'm going to click on another joint. It really doesn't matter which one, but if you want to change one, I'm just going to right click on the joint or the little black point. There are a lot of black points on here. Then I'm going to click R and rotate her just like that. Um, you can basically do anything you want with this. Um, then you can click her neck again if you want her neck to move. Um, you can click this one. This is going to move her whole shoulder around. And then there's also this one, which will also move her whole shoulder around, which will probably be the best option if you want to change their shoulders up. And then there's also her knee down here. Same thing. Right click, get your R key, move it around. Um, you can also right click here, right click, and then move it around just a little bit more like so. And then it's, it's so simple, just like I said, and um, it should not take very long for you to do this. And I just wanted to show you this simple pose that I made right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click that eyeball off again. And then I'm going to show you the other pose that I made earlier. So I also made this one, which is also another simple one that is also in my game. This is one that I made. And then there's also, wait, no, that's the one I just showed you. And then there's also this one, which is the very first one that I made um, today. And they are very, very basic. Obviously, um, you can go more into depth with this, but this tutorial is just meant to give you a good head start on how to create the poses. But yeah, you would basically just right click, press R, and then left click left click to confirm where you want the pose to be at so now i'm going to go back to the one we were just at this one right here um i'm going to go ahead and save this one but in order before you do that you need to go ahead and press file and save and just so you don't lose any progress i would save you know pretty frequently and everything so yeah now we're going to go down here there are keyframes down here keyframes are usually in a lot of softwares and they're usually meant to you know animate your inanimate stuff so what we're going to do we're going to click here um the green thing line right here is what we're going to be working with um we're going to click this green line it's right here and we're going to scroll and we're going to move that basically to anywhere that's after zero we don't want it to be at zero we want it to be at least at two or one or something but not at zero so we're going to go ahead and click that make sure that it is at two then we're going to click our eyeball and make sure that we can see the black dots then we're going to click the a key on our keyboard and all this should turn blue you see how the sim has turned blue we want that we want the sim to turn blue so that we can make sure that everything is selected so now we're going to press the i key on our keyboard and then we're going to click here so where it says lock rod and that will just confirm the keyframe this thing should turn yellow and then now since the keyframe is confirmed we're going to go up here we're going to press save but that only you know confirms it for about less than one second it's just going to sit there for a very very short period of time um usually the sims 4 operates at a rate of 30 frames per second so as you can see here the lazy trait is just over 140 frames so um it is kind of like it's kind of two seconds two or three seconds something like that but we want it to last a little bit longer so we will have enough time to make a screenshot so we're going to do the same thing we're going to drag this green thing and we're going to drag it somewhat towards the end we're going to drag it right here but make sure that it's not at the end um, we don't want it at 143, we want it somewhere before that. And we want to make sure that both the green and the yellow dots, our lines, are within the gray slots right here. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that the sim is all blue again with her blue dots. And then we're going to press the I key and we're going to press lock rod. And one more time, I'm going to confirm it one more time. You press the A key to make sure that all of her is selected, everything is blue. And then you're going to press the I key and then you're going to click on lock rod and that will confirm your frame. But also make sure that it is right here. At the end, you should have a yellow um, a yellow line at the beginning and also at the end of your um, trait animation. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to press save and then that's going to save your blender file and now we are done with that. So now we're going to minimize this and we're going to go back to um, where we were before and we're going to basically go back to the sims 4 studio it should still be open and we're going to click on import and that should say slob or whatever trait you chose before and then i'm going to go here and where it says slob the blender file i'm going to select the blender file 
I'm gonna open that one. I'm gonna import that one into the actual Sims 4 suit. Okay, so now since that has imported, we're gonna go ahead and click here where it says save. And that's gonna save your package file. You have now created a pose and it is now in a package file. So you can now put that inside of your mods folder. So now I'm gonna place that into my mods folder. I have everything right here on my, um, on my desktop so it is completely convenient and everything so I'm gonna click that one it should say simulexis underscore post underscore slob and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this file and I'll put that in my um, mods folder I have my mods folder right here it's electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods I'm gonna go ahead and paste that into here and then I'm gonna minimize that I'm gonna go ahead and open up the sims 4 and show you what the poses look Okay, so now since you have the Sims 4 open, you can go ahead and head into create a Sim. And we're gonna we're gonna look at those poses to see if they came out correctly. So um, the first pose that I have um, was under the Love's Outdoor trait. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Love's Outdoors because I made three. Um, I'm gonna click on Love's Outdoors, and this is the first one that I made, and um, this is how it looks. And then I'm gonna go to the second one, which was under Lazy. And this is the second one that I made. And then we're gonna go to the third one, which was under um, Slob. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Slob right here. And this is the one we just made. And yeah, this is basically how the poses look. It is very simple. You can obviously, you know, expand on this and be more advanced with it if you would like to. But this is just, I just wanted to basically start you guys off with it. And hopefully this will help you. And just like I said at the beginning, um, I would love to see the poses that you, you can send me your screenshots on Twitter. Just at Simulexis. I would love to see them and everything. And yeah, so I hope this helped you guys. And if you have any like requests for more tutorials you think I should do definitely let me know in the comments and if you also need any help with this i will try my best to help you so yeah i hope this helped you and i will see you guys in the next video